Hello folks, uh, we're going to do a series of videos um, going by subtopic, going by uh, going for quant, LRDI, verbal and overall and by what do you call it, sections in CAT. Right? So, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to think about what position, what, what marks you're getting in the section and then say, hey, how do we go from one rung to the next? What is the idea behind this? Very often, we speak as a community to people who we assume are getting one percentile moving to the next. And so very often the idea or, or advice that we so-called experts and gyanis give unfortunately ends up being fiercely intimidating. What is a super good advice for somebody who is getting 24 and who wants to go to 38? Could be one, look I don't know what postcode we are talking from for the guy who is getting 7 marks. And so it is very important to adopt a bag of tricks or uh, attempt strategies or clues and fundas that speak to where you are to go to the next step and then the step after that comes. And otherwise, one, it is intimidating, it's scary and it's, the guys always talk about somehow taking the number of attempts from 11 to 14 in quant and all you have ever done is attempt a maximum of four questions and it's nightmarish, right? number one. Number two, it's not relevant. What you have to think about if you're going from here to here, here to here is very different. And so, what should you do if you're going in quant? If you're getting fewer than six marks in quant, and what should you do? What should be your what should be your priority list? Should first of all, you should narrow down the paper. You should simplify life. And so, whenever I'm, I'm getting, I get overwhelmed, um, where I don't know where my next idea is going to come from, where my next thing is going to come from, and I'm sitting in front of a machine. Suppose I have 18 tabs open, and I feel overwhelmed. I'll close 16 of them. Sometimes that's why I can't work with some of my teammates, like Bharat or even Hashwin, I'll still see their things. There'll be so many tabs that you, you won't be able to know what is there in which tab. Right? So it's a different era. And maybe that's what Gen Z, Gen Alpha, those are about. Anyway, I'm digressing. When lots of different ideas are there on my plate, then it's overwhelming. If you're getting five marks or six marks or seven marks, that ballpark, then you have to say, I have no business trying anything from functions, trigonometry, coordinate geometry, uh, polynomials, Exponential logarithm in, uh, in, in, in uh, coordinate geometry, in polygons, any of that. And I have to look at the syllabus for CAT quant and say there are 24 topics in this that I can think about. But 12 of them, I'm just throwing them out. I don't care what they are. And then I take the remaining 12 and then I shrink it further. And then I say, this is my sweet spot. This is my swinging zone. I'm going to attempt questions from percentages, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, all numbers with percentage as an idea coming in. Then I'm going to do ratio proportion, variation, mixtures, speed time distance. And so intuitive ideas, two is to three, five is to seven, I know that, I can handle that. Going at 40 kilometers per hour, 60 kilometers per hour, I can handle that. Five topics. Every mock, I'll do two mock, three mock, where I say these five topics, the three questions from that, I'll get those three right, and then sit and wait, and I get that. I need to get 9 marks, 12 marks, 3 questions all right, 4 questions all right to do more, to figure that out, fine. That's how you go from here to here. But if you're somehow in this range where you're getting, look, 12, ho jayega. But 12 is not enough for me. I cannot get 12 marks and clear this exam. Then the mothership, the play, to say not these 5 topics, but all of arithmetic. And I'm a gigantic fan of putting arithmetic in the bag, sitting in it, being very comfortable in it, being super happy with it before going outside. When I say arithmetic, what do I mean? Percentage, profit and loss, ratios, mixtures, allegations, speed time distance, races, averages, pipes and cisterns, work time, simple interest, compound interest, then a little bit of exponents and logarithm, a little bit of APGP progressions. So those two are arithmetic, but sometimes with X's and Y's thrown in. And so those 10, 12 topics need to be in the bag. Exponents and logarithms and progressions being right on the boundary, but everything else being there. You put that, you can go from here to here. You put that in the bag, then you're saying, look, in any CAT paper, I have a shot at attempting 7, 8 questions. Most reasonable paper, I have a shot at attempting 10, 11 questions. Like CAT 2023 was exceptionally difficult. Leaving that out in most papers, this would have helped you attempt nearly 10 questions. Eight of them, right? That's 24 marks. You're good. That typically crosses you beyond the 90th percentile range. And that's very, very important. Here to here, this is tougher. 
you can't tell land percentage profit and loss ratio you go from 15 to 38. 37, 38 you're flirting with the, the higher 90, 98, 99 percentile it's super tough. So there you have to add other topics where if you want to be 38, 39 or 40, 41 you have to do definitely geometry and algebra but if you're saying look I'm typically getting 21 I somehow want to get 28, 29 you can choose between algebra and geometry. So you have to say, look, I have arithmetic in the bag. That will take you to this position. After arithmetic, I'm going to add either algebra or geometry and then put that. This whole idea is topic-wise, syllabus-wise. Okay? Conceptually, in terms of errors and sequence and, and what should you think about, this level or this level, you cannot worry about speed. Too many times, I find students who have no business worrying about how quickly they solve always worrying about how long it takes for them to solve it. If you're getting five marks on an average in quant, it simply doesn't matter whether you take four minutes to solve a question or eight minutes to solve a question. You pick four questions, take eight minutes for all of them, take 32 minutes, sit and wait for eight minutes, you've got 12 marks. But consistently getting five, six, seven marks, speed is not your problem. A deep enough understanding in a narrow enough set of topics is your problem. If you're here and you're talking about I'm not solving quickly, you're kidding yourself. The funda grasp is not powerful, so it's not speed. It's not speed that's going to take you from here to here or even here to here. To get a 17, 16 marks, you don't need to be quick. You need to have clear understanding, ability to pick your topics, execute well at your own pace. You can get five questions right in typical papers. Right? Here to here, when you expand topics, is when you have to improve on question selection in a mock paper and speed of solving. They're not negotiable. When you add an algebra or geometry, you have to reach a point where you're automating process. Where you're saying x square minus 7x plus 12 equals 0, 3 comma 4. You cannot split the middle term, write it in three parts, see it, and then say this goes to 0, this goes to 0, two roots are possible, 3 or 4, none of that. 3 or 4, and the choice does it work. Go. When you're writing down things between open interval and closed interval, you can't sit and say, is this bracket like this? Is a square bracket like this? You should have internalized it. When you're doing speed time distance, the moment there's a circular racer's question, you should be like, okay, opposite direction, same direction, I know the formula, plug it in, let it work. You cannot sit and reprocess in the exam. You need to have automated a bunch of things. So in this range, going from here to here, is about adding topics, but about automating processes. You should do question after question after question, devour it in your topics in order to get comfortable. Here to here, you need to have that. You, here to here is by saying, look, I can't take chances. You need to be comfortable with trigonometry, polynomials, Chinese remainder theorem, the whole shiman. You can't leave parts of syllabus untouched and then say, look, I want to get 46 in quant. No chance. It may still fall your way, but if that is your ambition, then you can't. Then you are talking not about stuff that you know, but about very little that you don't know. Your topic coverage should be complete. Your question selection should be, algorithm rule should be super clear. You can't pause. Your error rate should be low. Your process automation should be high. And on top of all this, you have to work on intensity. You can't have a five minute spell where you're sluggish in the 40 minute thing. It happens It happens to several people during mock where they have a five minute spell where only one question is being answered or, or nothing is being done in quant. They're losing out to the guy who's doing two, two questions in those five minutes. That could be the difference between 36 and 42. And that max, it makes a difference. So if you're saying my ambition is to get 45, 47 mark, you have to work on all of these have no leave no stone unturned work in maximizing your intensity having super clarity on what to select and what to dump because in that range if you're flirting with going from 98.2 to 99.7 every little thing will matter you, can, you cannot have a gap you should be able to leave questions you should automate processes you should know the funda straight away you should not have a topic that is not covered none of that on top of all of this you cannot warm your way into the paper. You cannot lose intensity. You cannot have a five minute dry spell. None of that. To say 120 minutes, super intense. These 40 minutes, I cannot have more than 10 seconds where I, my, my mind is wandering. I lose, do a question, I cannot be tired. Kitna calculation tha. No, no. Go to the next one. Run into the next one. Grab onto it and, and attack it relentlessly. So that this part is all intensity. This part is about speed. This part is about narrowing down. And, and doubling down. Don't worry about speed here. Narrow down your topics, get marks in the bag. Worry about speed, building, automating, not doing things fast, not multiplying quickly, not doing some nonsense Vedic mathematics, but having clarity in this. Question selection plays a role here. Question selection, automating process, 
having nothing now super intensity all of that will take you from 40 to 48 important no getting away from it if your ambition is to get 48 then you cannot have you cannot train like your 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 you have person with modest ambition you have to set high benchmarks for everything under the sun right? so think about where you stand and fine tune go to the next level consolidate then carve out another plan for the next one too frequently guys sitting here are saying speed is a problem it's not and so don't worry about speed till you can confidently get 12 marks in every quant you get that then you start worrying about maybe i can do it quicker otherwise it's a random variable that is of no use okay. super guys best wishes